I won't lie, I, I love staying in hotel rooms. It makes me feel like some kind of clever, successful businessman who's really made it in life. But unfortunately, the reality is somewhat different. The fact that my worldly possessions are stuffed into two bags over by that table, and my glamorous hotel view consists of a roof covered in a never-ending sea of air conditioning units, certainly does take some of the magic away from it all. And instead of making business deals worth millions, I've sat here for 25 minutes now pondering a difficult decision I faced over last night's dinner. I was at this cheap sushi restaurant and after the main meal there were two desserts that caught my eye. A pudding and a premium pudding. And the trouble was, the prices, the pictures and the descriptions didn't really make any sense. Because the picture of the mere pudding looked marginally better than the picture of the premium pudding, despite having the same price and I just didn't know what to do. Maybe the pictures were the wrong way around, or maybe in Japan, premium puddings don't come with cream. I don't know, I'm not uh, a Japanese pudding expert by, by any measure. In the end, I couldn't decide, so I just went with the, the mousse of the mango. But uh, it certainly was one of, the, uh, one of the greatest dilemmas I faced in uh, 2016 so far. Anyway, I am uh, in a hotel, and I figured I need a break from counting air conditioning units, just for a little bit. Um, so I figured I'd show you around a Japanese, a standard Japanese hotel room and uh, see what we can find. Maybe I can actually do some exercise in the process. It's at least oh, 10 metres to the doorway. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the doorway. So, this is the doorway. Now, you're probably wondering why I chose this hotel room. And... It's about 6,500 yen a night, which is kind of what you pay for a room this size in Japan, although this one's a little bit bigger, which is a bonus. But the real reason I chose it was the name, because the name is the Hotel Bel Air. And I saw that, and I felt very nostalgic about my favourite sitcom of the 90s, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, with the notable exception of The Simpsons, series one, two, eight, before they gave up writing episodes that were good. You'll notice there's a few few items here. We have a, a shoe brush, uh, some slippers, shoe polish, um, what appears to be half a propeller. I don't know where the other half is. I don't know why that's there, quite frankly. But I'll leave that there. Um, now, there's a spray here, and you're probably wondering what that is. And so am I, because I don't actually know what it is. What is it? Room clothing tobacco. It's like an air fresher. Say uh, Suica. It is a deodorant spray of an effective professional specification to the anxious smell. Mm. Is it now? Well, I suppose this sock might fit might fit that description. So, so uh, apparently. Oh, oh God! That smells dreadful. It's like hair spray. Oh, it's horrible. Don't you? If you come to Japan, don't use this this treacherous spray. Oh, stumbling into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice is the toilet sent from the future uh, to spray us from behind. And uh, so you can change the water pressure here. So that's nice. It's got a, a seat warmer. Yeah, it's it's a nice nice toilet that. And uh, here's the bit we all get excited about: the free stuff. So uh, you put your soap, uh, comb, cheese brush. Cotton buds, woo. Body sponge. Body sponge, it's a bit small though. Oh. As soon as you'll open the package, the sponge will swell. Will it now? Well, it certainly did. Look forward to uh, having fun with that layer. Yep. And before we move on, you'll notice here it says Toto, which is of course an amazing band from the 1980s behind hits such as Africa and hold the line. But following on from their success, they diversified into integrated toilet solutions. So when you lift this up, it's it's a standard feature, and I think uh, I think that's fantastic. So we're back in the room, and uh, let's take a look at the bed. Nice size here. Uh, this is a standard feature in most Japanese hotel rooms. It's a lightsaber, just in case you have to go out in the middle of the night and uh, face any combat situations on the way to the uh, convenience store. Buttons for lights, look at that. Oh, you don't even have to get out of bed, and I really like that. This is the future of lights, just like there next to your bed. This is a light 
remote control. So, right, you can press here and it goes like white. Look at that. It's got white. You press here, it goes warm. This is really weird and trippy. Like, if you like play around with it. Oh, oh, white. Oh, oh, orange. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun in bed later. Put that there. So, let's move over here. This is the desk area. Very nice, as you can see. Um, one thing that comes in most Japanese hotels is massages for 30 minutes. 2,700 yen, you can get a nice body relaxation massage. Or for 2,160 yen, a foot massage. I won't be doing that. I am just a humble YouTuber. I can't afford such frivolous, luxurious experiences. Nice little notepad here with your uh, to-do list on. Hotel Bel Air notepad, standard. And uh, a lamp. Draw in here, what have we got? Let's see what we've got in the drawer. Um, in the drawer we have a multi-use bag. You can use that for, um, well, for just so many things. Um, and then we've got a book, New Testament. Um, it looks really good. I don't know what it's about. I'll have to read that later. A um, little guidebook for uh, North Japan. Welcome. It's got lots of cool places you can see and do and food you can eat and drink. Pretty cool, pretty handy. Coming down here, a cupboard with... Oh, tea. Check it out. Uh, good taste, refined fragrance. Japanese green tea is quite nice. And we've got a kettle under there for that tea, so. There's a fridge here, switch that on there. Um, open it up, let's have a look. Nothing in here except one, no, two. Two hairs, so that's good, you can enjoy hair. So, television, let's check out some TV. Oh my God, let it stop. Some, uh, some singing snowmen there, if you're into that. So that's Japanese TV, and there you go. There is your standard Japanese hotel room. So that was a tour of the hotel room. It was a bit weird, wasn't it? But that's to be expected when you are alone in a hotel room. I uh, oh, can't even look outside now. It's dark now, so I can't, can't enjoy the air conditioning units. Still. I know how to have fun. So uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Oh. Oh, it's got orange. It's got white now. <laughs> there. Look at my kingdom. I was finally there. Sit on my throne. It's the Prince of Bel Air. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Where's. The... Oh, shit. Thumb down for swearing. Why the effing? It's not funny. It's not clever. It's downright disrespectful to the Japanese. First off, fine. Swearing is neither funny nor clever. Although, it definitely is. But this line, it's downright disrespectful to the Japanese. What the fuck are you talking about?